Hello. How are you going? Have you having a fantastic day? It's the weekend here where I am. Saturday. Well, I'm going to share this one about a list of uh, fallen angels. 16 minute read two years ago. The following list of fallen angel names gathered from different regions, mythologies, and lore. The angel names are different names of those angels considered to be of bad nature and not names of good angels. Fallen angels' names find their roots within ancient cultures such as Babylon, Assyria, and Egypt, as well as more within Jewish, Christian, and Muslim lore. Over a thousand years, angel names have evolved in spelling, meaning, and use within religions. Mysticism, even magic, where the name of an angel is thought important in order to invoke angelic help. Some rituals are said to invoke good angels, while other rituals are performed in an attempt to invoke fallen angels. Many good angel names include a suffix word meaning God, El, or Ya, which means Lord. This is a primary distinction between higher angels and those who are fallen. The use of L within elegetic name angel Alan sorry, angelic names portray the importance of the angel's connection of the divine God. Both good and fallen angel names are traditionally and supposedly believed to be powerful by some people. The list of fallen angels and the fallen angel names are Abaddon, the fallen angel whose name means to destroy. Athelabu, one wing and Red Sea fallen angel. A Colin, a fallen angel who is a duke in hell. And I sorry I can say these some of these wrong. Amidocus, a name of fallen angel who appears as a unicorn. Um Almond, a fallen angel who was a strong marquis of over forty legion. Amy uh, Amy, uh, a name of fallen angel who was president in hell. Andreas a fallen angel Marky appears raven headed. Andrea Fellus, a fallen angel who can transform into humans into bird. Andromelus, a fallen angel who appears as a man holding a serpent. Apollyon, a fallen angel of death, same as Abaddon. Amelia Marios, a fallen angel who teaches the resolving of enchantments. Asmodi, a fallen angel king with three heads, a bull, a ram, and a man. As Modus, the evil of, of the fallen angels, being an arch demon. Astra, a fallen angel who was a Jandruk in hell. Azrael, a fallen evil fallen angel who com ho cohabited within woman. Azrael, fallen angel whose name means God strengthens. Azar, a fallen angel whose name means the strong. Bao, a fallen angel whose name means the Lord. Now, um, you know the little streaks you see up in the sky there? Well, um, it's allium, aluminium, strontium, borium, and bar barium, which on the element table for the symbol of them is BA and then AL. So BA for barium, AL for aluminium, and S for strontium, B-A-A-L-S. Balaam, a fallen angel who looks like Amstamy with a serpent tail. Balbereth, a fallen angel who is Grand Pontiff in Hell. Barberquel, a fallen angel who teaches astrology. astrology. Barbatos, a fallen angel who is Great Count, Earl and Duke of Hell. Bathurn, a pale horse riding fallen angel. Bezelbub, a fallen angel known as the Prince of Demons. Behemoth, a fallen angel who was a demon of the deep. Belleth, a fallen angel who was a terrible king over 85 legions. Belial, a fallen beautiful angel whose name means without worth. Belgafor, a fallen angel whose name means lord of the opening. Bereth, a fallen angel. Benal, a fallen angel of darkness and even. Bilfrons, a fallen angel that appears monstrous and teaches mathematical arts. Botus, a fallen angel who appears as a viper. Bua, a fallen angel who teaches philosophy, logic, and ethics. Boon, a fallen angel who appears as a dragon with three heads. Came, a fallen angel who appears as a thrush or a man with a sword. Dantian, a fallen angel who appears as a man with many faces. 
Deco Abria, a fallen angel who appears as a star in the Pentacle. El Gore, a fallen angel who appears as a good knight with Lance. Oh, some of these are really hard, sorry. An Epis, a fallen angel who appears in the shape of a woman. Floris, a fallen angel who appears as a leopard. Flocala, a fallen angel who appears as a man with gif griffin wings. Forcus, a fallen angel who teaches log logic and ethics. Formus, a fallen angel marquee who appears as a sea monster. Forcus, a fallen angel who appears as a cruel man with a long beard. Furfur, an angel who appears as a heart with a fiery tail. Gap, a fallen angel who appears as a man with a bat wings. Gadriel, a fallen angel whose name means God is my helper. Game Jin, a fallen angel who appears as a small horse. Galstylobos, a fallen angel who appears as a winged dog. Gomery, a fallen angel who appears as a camel riding woman of beauty. Gizen, a fallen angel who can discern the past, present, or the future. Haggedi, a fallen angel who appears as a bull with griffin wings. Hapalus, a fallen angel who appears as a stork. Imara, a fallen angel who governs voyages. Ipoz, a fallen angel who appears as an angel with a lion's head. Copiel, a fallen angel whose name means star of the god. Cunopagus, a fallen angel who appears as a seahorse and sinks ships. Lahash, a fallen angel who interferes with divine will. Ladre, a fallen angel who appears as an archer in green. Leviathan, a fallen angel associated with the deep seas. Lilith, a female angel who searches for children to kidnap or kill. Lil Tetrax, a fallen angel of the wind. Lucifer, anciently a Babylon king who names name means bearer of light. Malpass, a fallen angel who appears as a crow. Marbus, a fallen angel who appears as a lion. Marcos Hus, a fallen angel who appears as a she wolf as with griffin wings. Mastema, a fallen angel who his name means hostility. Meadow feels a fallen angel who name means he who loves not the light. Morax, a fallen angel who appears as a bull. Nema, a fallen angel of prostitution whose name means pleasing. Nabarus, a fallen angel who appears as a crow, crowing cock, which is a um, rooster. Or it could be a yeah, yeah, rooster. Um, Osbirth, a fallen angel female who kills ne newborns and causes stillbirth. Onoskyus, Ellis, no, Onoskyus, a fallen angel whose name, uh, who lives in caves and perverts men. Orosus, a fallen angel who appears as a lion with serpent's tail. Ornus, a fallen angel who is annoyingly and can shapeshift. Orobus, a fallen angel who appears as a horse. Oz, a fallen angel who appears as a leopard and is a president in hell. Pamion, a fallen angel who appears as a crowned man on a camel. Pamanuel, a fallen angel who corrupts mankind through riding. Fazes up. Fallen Angel of Fornication and Lust. Phoenix, Fallen Angel who appears as a Phoenix bird. Proceal, a Fallen Angel who can speak of hidden and secret things. Pora, a Fallen Angel of Forgetfulness and the Conjuring of the Dead. Person, a Fallen Angel who appears as a lion headed man on a bear. Kumil, a Fallen Angel who was destroyed by God. Rehub, a fallen angel of pride whose name means violence. Ra'um, a fallen angel who appears as a crow. Ronable, a fallen angel who is a monster who teaches rhetoric and art. Ruax, a headache fallen angel. Sabanak, 
a fallen angel who appears as a soldier with a lion's head. Solus, a fallen angel who appears as a soldier on a crocodile. Samel, a f fallen angel whose name means the blind god. Satan, Christian fallen angel whose name means adversary. Seer, a fallen angel who appears as a man on a winged horse. Samazra, a fallen angel leader and one of the sons of God. Shax, a fallen angel who appears as a stork, stealer of money. Solus, a fallen angel who appears as a raven and teaches astronomy. Soroth, a fallen angel whose name, man, whose number is 666. Sytri, a fallen angel, appears as a man with griffin wings and a leopard head. User, a fallen name, angel whose name means strength. Velvet, a fallen angel who appears as a small boy with wings on a dragon. Velfur, a fallen angel who appears as a many-headed lion. Velpa, a fallen angel who is skilled in handicraft, science and philosophy. Vesgego, a fallen angel, discovers all things lost and hidden. Vepa, an angel who has appeared as a mermaid. Vin, angels and appears as a lion sitting on the back of a horse. Vu, an angel who appears as a human camel. Wormwood, angels who brings plaques upon the earth. Zaphan, angel who fires the fires of hell. Zangan, angel who can transform things, looks like a bull with wings. Zephyr, an angel who makes women love men. Fallen angels, what are fallen angels by Lewis Charles? Certain religions, especially those prominent in the West, teach that fallen angels, once pure messengers of God, followed the devil or Satan out of heaven and onto earth in rebellion against the Creator. With this belief, it is also taught those fallen angels now re rule the earth realm as evil angelic principalities and powers. It is claimed that this is important in spiritual conflict, un largely unseen, with the heavenly holy angels of God combating the fallen angels who are under the charge of Satan or Lucifer the devil. We prefer a metaphysical view of the fallen angels and what they can be in our lives. Let's look at some other interpretations consider. Fallen angels are demons. Some teachings equate fallen angels being with bring demons with roam the earth looking to inflict human harm upon mankind. They even assign them names, see the fallen angel names in fundamentally Christianity. For example, it is thought that the fallen angels will one day be fully loosed upon the earth, permitted by God to wreak the worst possible havoc in order for mankind to repent and accept Jesus as Saviour. Those who accept Christ, they will claim, will be saved from such wrath, including that eventual eternal punishment raged by God against Satan, his fallen angels, and the unrepentant mankind. Yikes, that's frightening. But, these incorrect teachings about fallen angels, demons, devils, Satan, Lucifer, and the like have evolved over time into fearful beliefs, many believe today, and the original freeing manuscripts became lost messages, sorry, by comparing ancient manuscripts primarily found with the old New, New Testament. A misunderstanding of the original ideas, originally parables, sworn as all sorts of instru instruction about the devils. Other ancient writings, such as one Enoch and Jubilees, have also been used to fill in the holes of these supposed biblical lessons. Such teachings, though, have created a great misunderstanding concerning falling angels, and even angels in general read about angels. Angels are messengers, and fallen angels are the messengers whose messages enlighten, unenlighten. Allow me to explain. When one speaks the spiritual truth, or better yet, expresses love and compassion towards another person, this is an enlightened message. Words and actions that emulate from the core of one's being. Angels, mysterious mis spirits, deliver messages of encouragement and guidance, always given with love as the initiator. 
Fallen angels are lost spirits. In contrast, fallen angels are messengers whose message does not come from a heart of love, but truly expression of fear. They represent symbiology, symbiology at the highest level. Us people, we are the real by our minds and not the inner being. Our awareness of thinking created by the brain causes the fall with when left to run on its own. We become trapped in mental compasses of past and future, lost for a session of whom we truly are, numb to our true es essence. Yet we do not live our lives in the present moment. Yes, in a sense, we become the mind, we become fallen angels, the result of the fallen messengers in it, messages in our head. The mind can produce thoughts of the past and future, fear and failure, condemnation and guilt. Such thoughts are of the lower statue. The meaning of the word fallen, though those are energy or spirit, and are debased, keeping us in constructs of the mind. In other words, they cause us to suffer. The thoughts, then, may also be viewed as the lost spirits. As the spirits, fallen angels are what we think when we allow ourselves to not only think. We could say that the most of, of us are fallen angels, for we appear to be lost people too, caught up in our earthly experience. You may be partially aware, we could be totally unaware. Few of us seem fully conscious of our actions of our planet system to indicate we are highly unconscious. Goes the forgotten fallen angels. Let's talk about the idea of fallen angels, tortured people, anguish, thinking, and punishing thoughts a bit further. What if a suffering soul were to die? Would the person still be lost in the experience of emotional pain? Yes, it is possible. Death is not the saviour, some may think it to be. And that's what they say. They say that, you know, dying is easy. That's the easy part. It's, it's what comes directly after that dying that is the big thing that happens at, at death. That's, you know, people will be afraid of dying and... You know, that's the easy part. It's just exactly what comes after that you should fear. Okay, let's con consider negative entities that evil ghosts are earthbound spirits of humans that are suffering. These spirits are still fallen in angels interact with those of us in mess bodies, sometimes communicating their message to us. Often the ghost messages are of their own fears, not something one would want to rely upon as wisdom. People, even ghosts, tend to interpret the world and others through their own inner struggles. The spirit remains here with the living for numerous reasons. Perhaps the person has unfinished business, or maybe the person feels uncompelled to deliver a parting message to someone. For whatever reason, a disembodied spirit remains attached to this realm. Ultimately, it is due to fear and a strong identification with the world of forms. This fear and attachment paralyzes a person, suspending them in a state of mental anguish, hell. If we receive messages from others who are of the unstable of the mind, would you expect it to be enlightened? Would it be the truth for you or me? Not likely. The Resurrection of a Fallen Angel The use of the word of a fallen angel reminds of who we truly are, who we are. Some much greater than we think. Do you believe that you are freeable, lost and alone? That is mind talk, full of messages, lowly thoughts and thought thinking. To move beyond the mind trap we need to step back behind our thoughts and be aware. Heaven is another word used to label the greater force behind everything that is for the spirit and its cow convoys the idea of higher evolution. The higher price were when we are at peace. And our living our lives through the love and truth, we are indeed in a higher position. We may call this light. Upon death of the physical body, it is said that the spirit is free and normally grav gravitates towards the light, continuing your life journey in a higher state. Why the light? The light can be our cleansing process of the death from the form. The light is consciousness of awareness or a coming back to the real you. It is always there. Often we just lose sight of it when we're caught up in a form, which is the body. 
When the light, the person who is reunited, we may say, with the soul and the real essence, letting go of the past pains and future plans take place during instant life review. Mental issues that were created while in the physical form can now be worked through more quickly. The mind produces fear, not the soul or the core of the person. If a spirit decides not to not enter to the light after cleansing the body, they will miss the mental cleansing. When this happens, it becomes because of fear. The unconscious soul remains trapped in a mental concepts and attempts to remain in a world of form. The soul is trapped by the mind and has become what we call a ghost or a shade or a shadow of the real person. Ghosts suffer to some degree from fear, fear of loss, fear of the unknown, fear of punishment, guilt, shame, doubt, worry or whatever. All are forms of fear produced by overthinking. A spirit who decides to remain behind is not able to rise above this condition easily. Ghosts maintain a strong identification with physical forms. Ascension of the soul, a resurrection form, can be trapped under self-indulgence, mind control, cannot occur without awakening. So, the restlessness spirit may remain isolated, afraid and quite attached to the physical world when the person felt so comfortable with. And so, the fallen angels have missed their opportunity to be whole, cleansed by the love of the new comprehension. The perceived misfortune of the fallen angels is temporarily, thankfully, all of us at the whole existence and ever grown ex always expanding progressing and being freed from our false belief from our fear it is the love that frees fallen angels even if those suffering and it is love that will eventually purge all states of disconnection the truth being wise and aware spirits i believe do interact with us observing and guiding and bringing direction they are with us during this process in form. They are angels caring about the whole of mankind and its elevation, unknowing truth and peace. What truth you say? The truth that we are connected, that one, a true angel remains a strong connection with being. We are eternal spirits, one spirit energy. Ultimately, there is no death, no punishment, no loss. The body may pass, yet we will still remain aware. There is nothing to fear. Fear, mental concepts, is an illusionary. They create beliefs created by the mind and not real. We created these beliefs and suffering because we believe the body and the story to be our person. But our experiences of suffering were merely indications of what we needed to perceive life differently. We viewed the external life experiences as more important than the inner life. That's okay. We are learning. Your awareness and study. We have primary lists of passages found in ancient manuscripts such as the Bible that are used to promote fearful false ideals concerning angels by pe mistaking, making people believe that these passages are to be ultimately literary. These are misused to create fear in the minds of those who choose to listen to grasp such words more deeply and seek the figurative meaning behind them. This is what the ancient authors would have decided. The following examples of ancient writings are said to be understood metaphorically, especially the sayings of Jesus found within the four Gospels. It is some but within the Bible's revelation to know known to be the book of symbolism. Genesis six one, Deuteronomy thirty two eight, one Samuel sixteen fourteen, eighteen ten, nineteen nine. 1 Kings 22.19, Psalms 82.1, Isaiah 26.14, Enoch 6.1.7.1.10.11.12.14 and 15.18, Jubilees 5.1.2 and 6, Matthew 25.41, Ephesians 12, your full armour of God, Hebrews 8.2.5, Jude 6, 1 Peter 3.19, 2 Peter 4.10, Revelation 9.11 and 13. Alright, thanks for um, watching and listening. I, I hope this helped you and leave your thoughts in the comments. It'll be really interesting to see what you think of it.
I hope you're having a fantastic. So, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, and good night. Raise your motivations. Much love. Bye.